What's going on, noisy neighbors? It's your boy, Big Boy Noise, right here. And um, we just getting into some more of this firearm philosophy. You know what I mean? We ain't at the range today. I'm thinking of um, when I'm doing uh, these chit chats like this, when we all just hanging out in the boom boom room like this. I'm thinking about just uh, like just calling it uh, simply firearm philosophies. You know what I mean? Firearms and philosophies. You know, or firearm philosophy, something like that. Y'all help me out. But I'm thinking when we just chatting like this, it's just um, it's the philosophy of being a firearm owner. You know what I mean? Today, I want to talk about a topic that's quite interesting. We all have goals. We all have a to-do list as far as firearms. We know how exciting it is getting a brand new firearm. We all recently experienced, and I'm still experiencing my excitement getting a new Tavor 12. We all know just the goosebumps it gives you knowing you got... I got a new firearm on the way, knowing the next one you're going to get. But today, <clears throat> I want to talk about some things. I want to talk about a topic called grown men take baby steps, okay? Sometimes, guys, once you have, once you have your needs taken care of, as far as, like, the particular firearm you're going to protect carry, a particular firearm you're going to protect your home with, sometimes... A brand new firearm is not a necessity, and we have to treat it as such. Um, grown, uh, big boy noise. I'm, I'm a thorough dude, responsible grown man. I'm sure a lot of you people who watch are thorough, responsible grown men and grown women. Um, my philosophy is um, you don't want to break the bank. To, you don't want getting a new firearm to disrupt your regular lifestyle, your everyday lifestyle. The things that are um, more important, you know, like your kids, uh, like your bills and things of that nature. You know what I mean? Now, I, by all means, I mean, get your to have a firearm, I would say do anything. Man, I would uh, to have a firearm. I think that's more that's important enough to get on the payment. But I would miss a bill to have one your first firearm. I think that's more important. That's like drop everything. Get yourself a firearm, especially in these days and times. You need a firearm to protect your family. That's just like you need insurance for your family. Um, to me, that goes along with survival. You know what I mean? Uh, so everybody needs a firearm, okay? Let's make that part clear. But when it comes to just grabbing firearms, once you have one or two firearms, as far as just the next new thing, it's not always about the next new thing. This kind of could be a part two to the last uh, post I put up called uh, Does Your Target, Does Your Gun Look Better Than Your Target? But this isn't just about... Um, training this is about a lot of different things that you could do to keep yourself from spending a boatload of money that you really know you shouldn't be spending at this particular time you can spend fifty dollars and save yourself five hundred dollars you can spend one hundred dollars and save yourself from spending a thousand dollars okay you can spend fifty dollars on a few nice new magazines and save yourself from spending five hundred dollars on a whole new pistol because we all know that these these firearms eat food, okay? But that food needs a plate, and that plate would be magazines. So sometimes you can get that extended magazine that you've been wanting, make your, it make your gun brand new again. You go to the range as a brand new brand new gun again. You get yourself a nice see through mag. It just get, makes your gun look so new, and you just feel good. You feel that fulfillment of. The excitement, keeping the excitement is just like a relationship, keeping the juices flowing, you know what I mean? You got something new in your collection. It's not a firearm, but it's a magazine. It's an accessory. It might be a red dot you've been needing. Spending $50 on two or three good magazines could save you from spending $500 on a whole new firearm, if you feel what I'm saying. Spending $100 on a nice Romeo red dot. If it's on a firearm that you need it, like how I need a red dot on my AK-47, spending $100 or whatever it takes to set that up, $170 on a good Romeo in a mount could save you from spending $1,000 on a whole new firearm that comes with the uh, the red dot and comes with this and that and that, the news gadget, all the gadgets are included. You know what I mean? I just want us to be wise and be grown men by taking baby steps. You know what I mean? I know babies learn how to walk but i don't think that's you know that's the only time that we should take baby steps is when we babies i think as we get older in life we got to remember where we came from and remember sometimes even my own self slow ourselves down i recently i like to tell you one thing i don't show everything 
because everything ain't for everybody, you know, but I have plenty of magazines for any firearm that I have that I own. You know what I mean? But every once in a while, it was always good. And it's good to just buy a new fi uh, magazine. You know what I mean? A new magazine just to, you know, keep the juices flowing. You know what I mean? Or, you know, some people get into the drums. I'm not really big on drums, but just a new magazine. Like, I love the uh, the 35 round magazines that come for the, uh, that I got from the AKV. They they also, the CZ Scorpion also takes them. So sometimes, I think this one hanging out is a 35 round mag right there. I think I got a, yeah, that's what, a 40 round magazine up there hanging out of my AR um, 15. Just periodically, you know what I mean? You don't got to spend a whole bunch of money. Just every once in a while, grab an accessory, a magazine. Sometimes you can just grab a couple boxes of bullets. Not that you're going to go shoot in the range, but you're just going to sit on and let build up. There's a lot of things. You can get to learn your gun in a whole other way. Rather than buying a brand new gun sometimes. I remember going to outdoor range. It was a whole different brand new experience. I remember when I was just so used to just um, indoor ranges that were only up to about 20 yards. 25 yards if you're lucky, but usually 20 yards, 25 yards. Man, going to a range that was like 50 yards out, 100 yards out. Sometimes you got to drive a couple extra miles. But going to a range that was 100 yards, 50 yards, you getting to learn your gun in a new way. You're like, wow, my gun was accurate at 25, but it's a little bit different at 50. You know what I mean? Shout out to the guy, Eli, I believe, Eli Dickens, who uh, made that heroic shot in the mall, who stopped that clown. Who had, who had killed three people and was going to kill a whole lot more people in that uh, shopping mall. Shout out to Eli Dickens. The young man who did it was a, uh, a armed citizen. He was concealing. He pulled out his pistol and got busy from 40 yards. Sometimes, guys, a little longer distance gets, gives you a chance to know your firearm in a new way. Sometimes going to a range or outdoor where you can just get loose with your firearm, a little rapid fire, or run different drills, pull from concealment, pull from the draw, Allows you to get to know your firearm in a whole different way. And you don't need, always need a brand new weapon. You know what I mean? We talking firearm philosophies here. We talking baby steps. Grown men taking baby steps. You don't need that brand new gun just yet. You do need the brand new gun. <laughs> but you might not need it just yet. So I want you guys to think over some of these things. There's things you could do. Um, do you have all your range bags together? I know I need a good solid range bag for this Tavor. I didn't realize it's tall me. It's short, but it's tall made. So my regular uh, range bag, it doesn't zip up in. So I got to probably get one of those cases, which will cost like 175 bucks or 150 bucks for a really good plastic hard case that'll fit the Tavor in it without having to take my red dot off every time I pack it away. I'm not about doing that. So, you know, things come. There's other things, little things you could do. Um, everything from range bags, I mean, gloves, headgear. Um, when I say headgear, I'm talking about uh, your earphones. Ears, um, eyes, uh, it's so many things. I look around and just think about the small little things that just um, really could keep the juices flowing, man. You know what I mean? Um, organize. Organize your, uh, your, your paperwork, man, from your firearms. Organize your paperwork, your receipts, and stuff like that. In this day and time, things getting crazy with all the stuff going on, with gun ba these bans and everything. Begin to have all your things in order. You know what I mean? Uh, rubber mallets, punches, things that you do use to work on your guns. Cleaning materials. Cl how about cleaning your firearms? I did a video recently doing that, which I like to keep my guns nice and clean. Clean your firearms. There's a lot of things you can do to keep the juices flowing in the relationship between you and your firearms. That's all I'm trying to say without you having to break the bank. Um, basically, that's all I really wanted to touch on today. And um, you guys let me know what you think about what I'm saying. Grown men taking baby steps. You know what I mean? Um, pretty, and of course training, you know what I mean? Of course training. How about this one? How about targets? Like they say, everybody wants a trigger job. How about a target job? How about spending a little money on some quality targets? I like the splatter targets. They might cost a little more, but guess what? They make it fun when you go to the range and you don't got to be the guy that who can't, you shooting on white and black paper, which is fine if that's where you're at. But sometimes it's nice to shoot on a target that you don't got to pull it all the way back in to see where your shots are going. You can keep it out at 20 yards and co correct your shot if it's wrong because you can see the bullet splatter every time you hit. So you know if you're a little left, you know if you're a little right without always using, uh, having to use binoculars or having to pull it all the way back in. Just a nice splatter target sometimes can solve a lot. But that's it for this video, guys. I'm just chilling in the boom boom room. You know me, man. Fire on philosophies, your boy, big boy noise. 
just thank you to everybody who's been subscribing, man. I'm just hoping um that uh you guys been enjoying the experience because I sure have. I really feel the camaraderie when I'm talking to you guys. It's as if we're talking one on one. I thank you for everybody who get in the comments. Let me know I'm not alone. You know what I mean? We're the, the Second Amendment community. You know what I'm saying? I thank everybody who get in the comments and you know chat and give me their feedback and I and I do the same on other people's pages. Um, I'm just having a great time here. No uh hitting agendas here. Just having a great time, man. Running these guns. You know what I mean? Until next time, big boy noise.